Hello students, in this lecture we will see the function definition inside and outside the class with the help of syntax, general example and practical demonstration. So first function definition inside a class. Here simply you have to write the definition of function inside the class. No need to write separate declaration of function. You can see the syntax for function definition inside a class. Here function written inside a class with the help of general syntax that is written type, function name and number of arguments. After that the body part of the function. This is included inside the class. Example for function definition inside a class. Here you can see the student class in that accept function written inside a class here that is void accept and then the body part of that function we will see the practical demonstration of program at the end of this session next function definition outside a class here you have to write the definition of function outside the class function declaration inside the class is mandatory Syntax for function definition outside a class. Here you can see two things. First one that is function declaration inside a class. You have to write the return type, function name, arguments and then semicolon. And similarly you have to write the definition outside a class that is return type class name, scope resolution and then function name. After that body part of the function. Here class name is the name of class in that you have written or declared your function. Example for function definition outside the class. In this example you can see the accept function which is declared inside a class and its definition outside a class. Example, write a program to declare a class employee having data members as a name and ID, accept and display the data, accept function definition inside the class, display function definition outside the class. In this example, we are performing both ways of function definition. So let's start with the practical demonstration. Start the Turbo C and click on new. Include two header files iostream.h and conio.h. iostream.h for input output operation and conio.h for get ch function. Class name is employee. As per given problem statement, you have to create class employee in that two data members that is ID and name, integer ID, character name, in that you have to specify the size of characters. In public section, first function which is accept function, its definition inside a class. So void accept and in that body part of that function means enter the ID and name. scene uh, name and id semicolon and here this is the second function that is display function it must be declared inside a class and its definition outside a class that's why void display and semicolon this is the syntax for declaration of function inside a class terminate the class by using semicolon after that definition of display function so syntax for that void return type employee is a class scope resolution and then display function name in that you have to write the body of that function employee details indel and display the id of employee id is equal to id and then indel similarly for name name is equal to 
name an indel close the display function and start new function that is int main function in that you have to create the object of class that is class name is employee so employee e1 e1 is a object of that class semicolon clrscr for clearing the screen uh, you have to call the accept function by using e1.accept similarly e1.display to call the display function get ch for holding the output at console window and return 0 save the program by the .cpp extension compile zero errors so execute it enter the name and id of employee abc is the name and id is 11 it shows the output